Hello everyone. So let's learn how to import and edit images in Mental Canvas today. So you can import images from the illustrations which you have done earlier or you can just download it from the Google. I will be importing some of the illustrations which I have done from the Adobe Fresco. So you will have to import the images in PNG format with a transparent background. To do that, you will have to just go ahead and make the background disappear in the illustration which you have done. So by clicking on that option, uh, the background will disappear. So now you have only the image which you want to import on the mental canvas with a transparent background. So now you are ready. So go ahead and export the image. This will save the image in your gallery and if you want to add few more images you can always go ahead and save the images in PNG format with a transparent background. That's it. Now that we have all the required images, let's open up the Mental Canvas app. You can get this app from your Apple Store on your iPad. So this is the home page of the Mental Canvas app. On to the left side, you can see the canvases and the layers. Each canvases will have multiple layers within it or you can add few more if you want. On the top, you will get to see few more options. That is the undo and that is the redo as you can see. That's the paint brush and that's the eraser. It's a paint option and that's the colors. And the plus mark over there is the option when you want to create a new canvas. These are the perspective, how you want to set your canvas. And this is one more option to set your canvas perspective. You can play around with the options and you will get to know. And that is a brush option. When you click on it, you will be able to draw on the canvas. And that's the camera option. When you click on it, you will be able to navigate through the perspective of the canvas, but you won't be able to draw on it. To start with the app, you will have to create a scene. So let's click on and create a scene. You will get a lot of templates over there. And you will also get a tutorial scenes. You can click on it and you will get to know how to create a scene. And you will also get a sample scenes. You can always go ahead and explore those options. So for now, I'll be selecting a foreground, midground, background scene. That's the second option. Since I'll be creating a layer by layer scene, so I have selected this and you can name your scene however you want. I'll be naming it as Vicious Bond. So now our scene is created and you can see the front, mid and back and ground layers. If you click on each of it, it will show you the perspective like how it will be shown. So that is the option to deselect and select the canvases. Each of the canvases will have layers in it and when you click on it, it will show the perspective of it. And also you can see the marks over there. This is the front canvas, the mid canvas and the back canvas. These are for references. These are the guidelines. 
now let's import image so you'll have to click on the canvas and on the image right there so it will show the images from the gallery which you have so this is a back layer so I'll be selecting the background make sure you stretch the background all over the canvas so that it fills everything on the canvas and if you place it wrong don't worry you can always go ahead and click on the canvas which you want to move again and then click on the selection tool on the top there you can select the paintbrush option and then click on it and it will be selected so now you have to click on the plus option right next to the copy option on the top next to it and then you can move around the canvas place it however you want once you are happy with it, just click on the tick mark in the top right corner and it will be adjusted. So once you are happy with it, you can click on the unselect option and then click on the selection tool again to make it go back to the canvases. And now you have the canvases ready. Now you can go ahead and import few more layers click on the layers and on the image option select the image you want to import again just drag it wherever you want on the canvas you can play around with it once you import and you do not see the image imported on the canvas, probably it would have gone beyond the background. So just click on it and bring it on top and there you will have it. So do the same for the other images as well. And if you find it placed wrongly, then you can always go ahead and click on the selection tool and move it as you want. So once you are done with the back layer, the base layer of all the layers, next move ahead for the mid layer. Do the same, import the images. Once you are done with the mid layer, now move ahead for the front layer and do the same, import the images. If you want to import few more canvases, you can click on the plus option on the top and it will show you this where you can move your fingers on the screen to set the canvas where you want it to be and then select OK. Now that you have your new canvas ready, you can import the images. Once you have imported all the images, you can play around and see if you have set it all right, correct. You can move your fingers on the screen and you will see the canvas moving. On the bottom right corner, you will see option called bookmark. This will help you to animate the canvas. There you can set it however you want. And now 
start with the base. Click on the camera plus option on the bookmark. So that will be your first image on the animation. So move to the next, do the same. Once you are happy with it, click on the plus mark, play around with it and select and make it as the bookmark. Once you are happy with it and selected all the bookmarks that you want, now you can click on the timeline and set the time. That will be the time frame of the animation. So you can set it to 0.5 or 1 second or 5 seconds. So once you are done with it, you can click on the play option on the bookmark and it will show you how you have set it. Now we are almost done. But if you go ahead and save it as it is, you will still see the guidelines on your canvas. So what you will have to do is, you have to remove these guidelines from the canvases. To remove it, you can click on the canvas and then the guidelines. It is locked. So click on unlock and then delete it. Do the same for all the guidelines from the canvases. And it will be deleted. So now that you have your canvas all ready, you can go ahead and save it. To save it, click on the top left corner and select save. And you can export the animation too. Click on the export and you will see the resolution and the quality and also you can get the screenshots. If you click on the start, it will start exporting the animation. And click on the save video, it will save the video to your gallery. And there you have it. Hope you all like the video. Thanks for watching. If you have any doubts, please let me know in the comments below.